Hey everyone, it's good to see you. My name is Rob Lee and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing some digital illustration and you are watching episode 5, season 1 of Doodlebox. For those of you who are new to the concept of Doodlebox, it is a illustration series where I take three different post notes from a container and I combine them to create a digital illustration on my iPad. What are the different categories of post notes? All of the yellow post notes inside this box are names of animals. All of the orange post notes inside this box are different jobs. And the green post notes are things, objects, big, small, short, tall. So I'm going to be doing some thumbnails and sketches and coming up with a colored illustration in around 30 minutes or so. Okay, time to choose. Let's see what we can come up with. Yellow one down here. And then I think I'll take this orange one. This green one here. All right, well, it's time to reveal what we have come up with. So I'll take this yellow animal post-it note. And we have a rhino, orange one. And we have a monk, a flower vase. Well, it looks like we have a combination of a rhino, a monk, and a flower vase to create a interesting picture. Let's get started. So in this first thumbnail, I am drawing a pretty easy sketch. A monk is holding a flower vase and presenting it to his pet rhino, who is looking up at him with very adoring eyes. Nothing particularly special about this composition, but just an easy one to warm up the hand and get the imagination firing. For the second thumbnail, I thought about a big flower vase with the rhino as a pattern or a motif on it. So this is center framed, has some flowers coming out of it, and we have a close-up of two monks' face, faces who are looking very intently at the contents of this vase. For the third thumbnail, I have a rhino that's running along with a monk riding on its back, a flower cargo at the rear end of the rhino that's been flying off as it starts to run um, at full speed. And for this fourth thumbnail, I have a hide and seek scenario where a rhino is hiding from a monk, uh, although its horn, its leg and its eye can be very clearly seen. So here the monk is playing along very uh, uh, gracefully um, with this one. In this fifth arrangement, I have a monk who is arranging some flowers into more of a circular bowl for a vase with a rhino staring or looking on um, curiously from the side. He has a moustache for some reason, I'm not sure why, and they are just in a garden environment there. For the sixth thumbnail, I thought about having this giant rhino statue with a flower vase actually coming out as its horn and two monks standing on top of it with a, uh, a number of rays radiating from it in the background, um, kind of like a holy statue. For the seventh thumbnail, I have a smiling sunflower and it's positioned in a flower vase in the middle again. And I have two rhinos in this case who are standing on either side, who are worshiping or basking in the good feelings or afterglow of this particular flower. So I quite like the symmetry that's emerging in that one. And for the last thumbnail, I have a rhino, which is kind of like a chia pet at the moment with a garden of different flower pots growing from his back. And the horn of the rhino is also doubling as this fountain or a sprinkler. So it's self-watering his own garden. As always, it's a very hard decision to make which thumbnail that you want to pursue. And there's probably three that I really enjoy here. However, for today's episode, I was quite happy with the seventh thumbnail in terms of the symmetry of its composition. And I like the idea of two rhino monks uh, standing there worshiping a giant sunflower as it radiates some beams of positivity. So in a few episodes of Doodlebox, I have used some very different styles to bring some of these illustrations to life. One of my styles is to use 
line work and to then color it on later. But for today's version, I started to pick out a color palette and essentially create these different layers where I could block out some of those key flat colors. So here I'm creating some layers where the skin of the rhino is on one layer, their robes is on another layer, the vase is another layer, and as you can see I'm coloring the petals for the sunflower now as well. So the reason I'm using this technique is that I will be using a coloring method where I mask out certain elements of this illustration and use a textured brush to bring some more depth to some of these shapes and forms within this illustration. So I'm pretty happy with the colored shapes that I have established here. And what I'm doing now is to use that masking technique I referenced before and starting to bring a bit more dimension and depth to the different color blocks within this illustration. My process here is pretty rough. I don't spend a ton of time agonizing over the, the right texture to use, but I do experiment with a shade or a tone of color that's usually lighter than a base color, but also one that's darker as well. What I'll also tend to do sometimes is pick very contrasting colors and see how that looks when I uh, go over the masked areas. So I'm using purple and green here as really contrasting colors from the original uh, yellow orange um, sunflower base. But it's a really nice way to sometimes just experiment with what could work. So I'm liking the color scheme that I have here and I'm going over a new layer with a dry ink brush just to bring some of these outlines to life a bit more. So I tend to do this a lot, you have seen in some previous illustrations, with the shapes of eyes or a little bit to do with the, uh, the nose and different face elements, but just giving a bit more um, contrast to some of these edges and making them quite well uh, visible to the, to the eye. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode of Doodlebox. You have just watched episode five of season one, where I took a rhino, a monk, and a flower vase and came up with this illustration here. If you liked today's content, please leave a like or subscribe. It means a lot if you can support this channel or share this with friends and family who may find this content interesting to watch. Thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you back here soon and have a lovely day. Bye.